What's going on everybody? Today's video is a little bit different. Um, recently I've been dropping my NBA 2K19 wish list and for this information to come out, it's kind of like a high five, I guess, from 2K, but somewhat a uh, type of resolve for us in the community. And I guess that it's time to actually address it. If you didn't know, 2K dropped a survey out to those who have stopped playing their game. Now, I can tell you guys straight up, straight up and down, I did not receive any survey from 2K at all, and I'm guessing that's because I do pop into the park from time to time, and maybe I'm just not on that mailing list whatsoever. Really not sure. But as far as the people who actually got this survey, I want to know what you guys actually think about this. Do you think that 2K actually is starting to quote unquote care about the community as far as what we want? what we would like to see and how to keep their game relevant for the year that it's out. Not many games do this because every blockbuster game, AAA title that I've seen, I've never gotten a survey from a game asking me why I've stopped playing it. But as far as 2K goes, I think that this is kind of a step forward for them because I guess they're actually at a vulnerable point where they're saying, you know what? I know that we need to go back to the drawing board. I know we need to drop something that is consistent, you know, week after week, month after month, whatever the case may be, to keep the fan base there, to keep our numbers up for playing time. Now, for all those people who have stopped playing 2K and didn't receive one of these surveys, I want you to actually read this document right here. I want you to type inside the comment section one of these reasons why you've actually stopped playing 2K. And for the people who don't see one of these reasons being that and have something else they would like to say, drop that as well. Because in this 2K survey, they actually put the option of other where you could actually write what you wanted. So I can't really end this video without going over the top 10 reasons on why people have probably stopped playing NBA 2K18. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up the document and we're going to actually just look at it go over each reason on why 2k thinks this is somewhat of a reason why people haven't been playing their game okay before we deep dive into this survey i actually want to address 2k for a moment now i've read the reasons on why you think people have stopped playing your game but there's also more in-depth things on why people have stopped playing i noticed in the list you haven't really addressed my team you really haven't addressed uh my league there's a couple play now things that you guys haven't addressed all-star team it's so many different modes within your game that you really haven't addressed and that you guys didn't put on the survey now i know that's why the whole others thing exists but technically you should you should open up the books i mean think about it like this if people are putting out numbers on daily users playing online every single day or every week or whatever, and they have data and stuff backed up like that, you guys should put that type of information out there. Uh, when you launch the game and it says uh, NBA 2K18 or 19 my career, and it has like uh, 100,000 online users at the moment or 1.2 million, you know, whatever the case may be, you guys should have that there. That's why I say... Within my career, you should really make it tiers. Like for the menu, you should put NBA 2K18 in my career, uh, my part, Pro-Am, Team Pro-Am. Like you should be able to ex access that immediately without having to go into my career. Because technically, it's kind of like you're patting the stats a little bit because people have to actually go into my career and then go to other things, which would make technically my career the most played thing on nba 2k18 so for 2k19 might want to change that but let's hop into this survey so the number one option on their survey list is that people have started to play nba live 18 now i will actually have to say man for 2k to actually put that in their survey that shows a lot of heart a lot of balls and they just seriously want to know now i can't lie to you guys man nba live 18 was a pretty good game like this year they came out running they've been dropping content week after week the devs have been working hard as heck to keep putting stuff out guys think about it like this they only had 5v5 for the live run they actually put 3v3 into the game they were making additions to the game that is only supposed to be a yearly game so i can tell you guys right now as far as the dev team goes working hard busting their behind dudes probably staying up probably 20 to 22 hours out the day nba live has been doing it now i don't want to say that 2k hasn't been doing anything because honestly 
I don't work closely with the dev team for 2K. But what I can say is, if they're busting their behind like this, like they do for uh, NBA Live, then you know saying? But as me personally, I can tell you guys right now, for NBA Live 18, what I do is I go on daily, I see what live run challenges are up, what gear I could get, and if I want that gear that day, I will bust my behind to get that gear. Now, as far as making it to 100 overall, 98 overall, 99, things of that nature, you have to play a certain amount of the uh, one career, and then you can go ahead and keep playing street ball. You can create a whole bunch of different characters, and you can get these characters up quickly. Guys, think about it. In NBA Live 18, I was uh, 99. Like that. Like, it was literally a snap of my fingers and just me casually playing a game online and offline. So, all I got to say is 2K. Yeah. Now, with that being said, it rolls into the second question. Is it too time consuming? Is it too much to get up in my career? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I probably heard about the first 99 overall come like, what, November, December? maybe January. I heard a lot of people like the first 200 that get immortalized were like dead in January. So what I'm saying to you guys is it took months on months on months of grinding. These people weren't just playing the game. They were grinding. They were putting in 12 to 16 hours per day. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I, I'm, I'm I mean, I know I'm a content creator. I'm a father, things of that nature. And I don't have the time to put into that. But bro, all those hours to get to 99 overall, I wish we could clock how many hours it takes to get to 99 overall. Maybe why don't you guys give us a 99 overall offline and let us work on an online player where we just play online with that player and we get the same type of rewards because everybody knows you could just grind my career and get to 99 overall before you play online. And that's what a lot of 99 overall players did in this game. I know it's time consuming. I know it's a hack. I know it sucks playing the CPU, but that's what a lot of people did. So ugh. now the third question on a survey is one of the biggest gut punches ever. Have you gotten bored with the game? And I can say this wholeheartedly. I'm not bored with the game. It's just certain things in the game piss me off to the point where I don't want to break this every time I play this game. I have a pretty hard table. I have like literally cement under my feet or tie, hard tile, whatever. I will break this controller be just because of the rage. So I know, for instance, the boredom is not me. It's not because I'm bored. It's because 2K pisses me off too much for me to keep playing hours on and on, hours on in without either losing my voice breaking my controller or wanting me to crack the disc and i know a lot of people like bro you're going overboard if you play the game as much as i have any other content creator or people have grinded to 99 overall played online with the aids you would know how i feel the number four option is i've accomplished all my goals in the game there has not been one person i know that has accomplished anything because think about it like this if you're playing in my career you want to get to 99 overall. Then you want to get your name on a jackpot list. Then you want to get your name on the top players in the park list just for a screenshot, just to get on 2K TV. So I know for a fact, accomplished goals are never met when playing 2K. The fifth option on the list, the game is too difficult. The game is not difficult if you put it on a certain setting. I know a lot of players that play on pro, even though Rookie's not in there anymore, Pro is pretty all right. I know people that play on Hall of Fame just because they know they can win by cheesing the AI all day. So the game to me, it isn't difficult at all. And playing online, every person has their day. It's not hard to score in 2K, depending on your build. A slasher, he's dunking on everybody. A sharp, shooting deep. A shot maker like myself, I'm dribbling all around people and hitting leaning shots. And sometimes driving to the rack and getting dunks on my own as well. So the game isn't difficult. Number six, to put this on the list, and the survey is really like a, a, a uppercut to every player that plays 2K, every content creator, every casual player that plays 2K. I want to know why you guys would say Fortnite is a reason why they stopped playing a basketball game. 
I, I truly don't understand why they will put that in there. Now, don't don't get me wrong. Fortnite is a very fun game. It is a very addictive game. And people can play it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and have a lot of fun. But that doesn't say why people stop playing a basketball game and why a basketball game and a battle royale shooting game is like neck and neck on reasons why you wouldn't play one or the other. What I say is Fortnite implements a lot of great things to their community, which I believe our community should have. So for them to put Fortnite on a list is an uppercut, but it's a realization that they see, oh my God, people are playing Fortnite so much. This game is so addictive. Why are basketball players playing Fortnite? Why are rappers playing Fortnite? Why is everybody that we send copies of the game to? Yes. These are the people that you send 2K to every year. We send copies to all these people and our game has never got the admiration, the 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 eyes on it as much as this game right here. We want to know why this game is at the top of our culture. So, of course, I understand why 2K is a little, you know, like, whoa, what's, what's going on now? The next thing on this survey list is a slap to the face. How can 2K make anyone bored of video games in general? I'm just going to go ahead and skip past that. I don't even want to give you guys a reason on why they would think 2K is a reason why people get bored with video games. Any video game that gets boring is simply because people are tired of putting time and money into a game reoccurring. Not only do we have to grind your game, we have to put more, 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 and more money into your game grinding and paying should be a level scale or it should tip a little bit not a whole lot when we pay to get to level 85 it's like you know what all right cool maybe i might not have to spend no more vc after this maybe i'll grind everything from here on out Mm -mm. once we got done paying to get the level 85 the next couple bars that we had to get mm -mm, no two bars okay i bet you don't got enough vc to get to level 86 I bet you might have to spend an extra five dollars. So that's why I say if a person is get, a person is getting these bars, these progression bars, the VC should add up enough for them to at least upgrade their player. Not okay. Well, you've gotten all this, and maybe you might be able to buy a jersey and a headband. Not the equivalent to upgrading your player. Just saying. Now the next thing is just like the uh, number one option and option about Fortnite. They started playing another game. To me, there's only a couple basketball games out there, especially there's only two real simulation basketball games or whatever you want to call it. There's live and there's 2K. So if you're not playing 2K, you have to be playing live because if you're playing 2K, you wouldn't leave 2K and go play playgrounds. You wouldn't do that. If you were playing NBA Jam and then you went to go play playgrounds or you're just playing playgrounds and you went to go for the nostalgia to play um, NBA Jam, that makes more sense. A person wouldn't just start playing another game and stop playing a basketball game. I keep hinting on this. This is a basketball game. Not any other game out there. It's basketball. This is the funniest option in the world. They lost interest in the NBA season. I've never heard of anything, any video game out there ever being impacted on whatever the like the, the in real life segue to it is. Like if people were playing Madden, and the NFL season was going on, you think that Madden would only be relevant from the start of the NFL season to the end of the NFL season? Doesn't make sense. Is FIFA only good for the start of the soccer uh, league or the end of the soccer league after the uh, the championship is won? No. Just because the NBA season is going on and now the NBA season is ending, we're in the playoffs, that's not a reason why anybody would stop playing a game. They People aren't losing interest in nothing the NBA has to offer. The NBA is lit this year. I'm a Sixers fan, and I can tell you guys right now, I've trusted the process for a long time. And now to see that we're doing good in the playoffs, I am not bored with anything. I did not lose interest in anything. I watch clips every day of people getting their ankles broke, people getting dunked on, people hitting long threes. <laughs> I haven't lost interest at all. So I don't know why that's on the survey list. Now, before I get up out of here, I just wanted to let you guys know something real quick. Ronnie2k tweeted out recently that he wanted to know if any dope my team streams were going on. He only said my team. He didn't say my career. He didn't say pro-am. He didn't say 
park. He just said my team only. He didn't say my league. He didn't say any of that. He just said my team. I don't think it's a diss to any of the other genres within the game, the modes within the game. I think that with what he did was he had people start putting their Twitch streams inside the chat and he started getting giving cards away. So I think that he was just finding some type of way to get rid of a bunch of stock that he had on hold as far as like codes and cards and stuff like that, giving out reward cues and stuff like that, having people come back to my team a little bit to try to ramp something up. What I can say is for him to do that, that's a big, big step to try to bring 2K back per se, but what I think that they should do is Ronnie2K's Twitter account is his personal account and NBA2K is another account that he sometimes uses. He can change it with the flick of a, his thumb because I've seen him do it plenty of times on his phone. He'll tweet from his own account and then switch profile and tweet from the 2K account. What I think that they that 2K should do is, since Ronnie2K is the face of 2K, but he's only the marketing manager, not the community manager, I think that they should bring somebody in, somebody that stays behind the scenes, not someone like LD2K. And LD, I miss the hell out of you, bro, but not someone like LD2K. I feel like they should bring somebody in that doesn't have a name like that, somebody that can stay behind the scenes and hold down those accounts that can scroll all day, or even if they have a minimal... A logistic team that goes through all the tweets and the data and the surveys and everything like that and actually say you know what these are the things that we need to bring to the community and come on ronnie you guys have to start promoting creators now i can't say that you guys have never done it in your uh tenure at 2k but what i can say is there has to be a constant promotion of creators daily now i do notice for the my team side uh, Robbie has been getting a lot of promo. He's been getting a lot of love, a lot of looks on uh, 2K TV, and that's big. But as far as the my career side, the pro am side, and stuff like that, and the park side, you guys only have really been promoting the competitive players. You guys kind of, you know, said to the creators, "We know what you've done, and thanks," and that's it. Not like a oh my God, we're going to make a video about all the creators, but like one of those silent, like, you know, Ronnie will come up to you and be like, yo, I like, I like what you've been doing. Appreciate it. And that's really it. That's all you really get. You don't get that admiration over social media in videos, which does what it promotes the content creator of your game. And then if you do do that, I feel like everything would just blow up. All right, guys, I have kept you too long. I'm so, so sorry. Next time, I promise I will keep this video as short as possible. I just wanted to go over everything. This survey right here, man, it almost brought a tear to my eye, bro. Because literally, ever since LD left 2K, I mean, early on, he left 2K and 2K18, I've just been trying to figure out where 2K will go from here. Their dev team not only is a dev team, but they work on play sets and stuff like that. And if you watch NBA 2K TV at all, they're always in those videos. But we rarely see them over social media because we're kind of like scared to hit them up and stuff like that. We don't know if they're going to respond. We don't know how cool they are. But I've met all these guys and they're cool. So I just say to people that want to get into the 2k wave want to you know try to play the game want to upload the game for content want to stream the game i think that since social media has already blown up and we're not new to this i think that every dev team person should have their twitter all over the place all the time and we should be able to hit those guys up and give them honest feedback without all the hate without all the aids just honest feedback and i feel like they should either like our tweet, retweet our tweet, or DM us because, of course, we're following them. They should DM us and say, hey, I got your tweet. You know, we're working on it or we will find something to address it or whatever the case may be. Because I know it's plenty of times the dev will look at their phone. They'll look at it and be like, OK, and they'll probably screenshot it and send it off to somebody else in an email. But we need to know that you see us. If we don't know that you guys see us, we will always think you guys are ignoring us and we don't like to be ignored because we are a massive community. But uh, with that being said, man, I'm going to get up out of here, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you guys drop a like button. It helps a lot. And I'm going to holler at you guys in the next one. Peace.
All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.